We've talked extensively now about some of the history of dance and what it's like around the world. Today we're talking about dancing for today. Dance is forever changing. It's growing and we get better and better as time moves on. This being said, we've learned along the way better and safer ways of training. We've also seen a lot of progress in the dance community for having more understanding of our audience and having more understanding of what is appropriate and not appropriate. When we're dancing today, we need to take into consideration just because we can do something doesn't mean we should. I say this because as we've talked about dancing across the United States, different things have different contexts. Some things that we do here are not appropriate for other countries. So we also take into consideration who our audience is. So simple things like a thumbs up hand gesture in the United States is okay. But if you're dancing for an audience overseas, you also want to take into consideration that that is oftentimes a vulgar hand gesture. There are simple things across the United States that can sometimes be deemed inappropriate based on geographical location, where certain hand gestures can be signs for different gang gestures throughout like I'll use Chicago as an example. Certain things should not be motioned by hands. There are certain dances that also have very negative backgrounds behind them and you should take that into consideration. I've actually been asked to teach a certain dance that has a very negative background and I said no. <laughs> um, it goes back to the whole just because you can do something doesn't mean you should and in the context of this dance that I will not be naming um, the reason I was even taught the dance was to be on the lookout of if I was ever near anybody doing that dance that one should seek cover and again that goes back to cultural understanding and knowing your surroundings. Looking at what's going on right now, we're dealing with a pandemic, and so dance is changing even more. We have to dance in a socially distant fashion. We're learning online. We are doing new things in the dance community that are different than what we've usually done. And mind you, when it comes down to spacing, dancers are usually pretty good about understanding space. <laughs> so we do get that. But it just goes back to the whole like dance is changing type thing. And again, being safe. There's also a little bit of history can sometimes repeat itself where we understand what the history of dance is, and sometimes it's okay to pull from certain aspects of it. Other aspects of history should pointedly stay in the history books, and we should learn from them and understand them. When I say things like that, I'm talking about pieces like minstrel numbers, where to the untrained eye, it could seem like they were really interesting, flashy shows at the time, but they were actually really inappropriate. <laughs> and those are one of the things that I've actually been asked about as to why people don't do them anymore. And I feel like that's just a misunderstanding of knowing what those types of shows actually entailed and how derogatory they actually were, which goes back to understanding the history of dance and what was being portrayed in those shows. Other aspects of history, though, are good to learn from and practice the roots. Things like Irishes. <laughs> Irishes are a basic step. And it, they're pretty simplistic and have a strong history in the tap realm. 
things like that are okay. <laughs> you want to take care of learning cultural dances. I've been asked to perform some that I, again, have unfortunately had to say no to because it was inappropriate for the context that I was being asked to perform or to teach. And even though I didn't make mention of it yesterday, I wanted to use it today. When we talk about Native American culture, very diverse around the United States and the Americas, and each tribe and community has had their own style of dance some of which are sacred to those individual groups. And some will never see the dances that they do because that is their culture. Other dances are okay to perform in front of others. Other dances are okay to teach others. But again, you need to have that respect for each community and each culture and understand what that history is and why that's important. Because again, we're always growing, we are always changing and stuff like that is super important just to be respectful and understanding of others around you. I will see you tomorrow as we talk a little bit more about how dance is for everyone. I will see you then.